What to expect during an intrauterine transfusion procedure at the Johns Hopkins Center for Fetal Therapy. Overview. This video will help you understand how fetal blood sampling and intrauterine transfusion, or IUT, diagnose and treat fetal anemia. Fetal anemia is a condition where the developing baby has an unusually low amount of red blood cells and hemoglobin, which the baby needs to carry oxygen to the tissues. If the pregnant patient's maternal fetal medicine doctor suspects that the baby has fetal anemia, they may refer their patient to a specialized care center for evaluation and possible treatment. Your IUT team. Your team will walk you through each step of the IUT procedure, and you will have the opportunity to ask any questions to ensure you're comfortable with the process. Many skilled caretakers take part in the procedure to make sure it goes smoothly. Teams usually include a sonographer, who specializes in ultrasound scanning, a doctor in charge of the procedure, and nurses that test any samples, assist with giving the baby blood, and record the procedure. If the patient is in an operating room, an anesthesiologist may also be present. The patient can also bring along a support person who will stay in the room the whole time. Preparing for the IUT. The goal of an IUT is to first take a blood sample, then give the baby new blood. During an IUT, the patient is usually awake, lying down, and kept warm and comfortable with blankets. Local anesthesia helps numb the skin and the area all the way down to the uterus. Additional pain medication can be given at any time to help with discomfort. Before the procedure starts, an ultrasound checks the baby's position and informs where the needle should be placed. Most often, the doctor targets the umbilical vein, which brings blood and nutrients from the placenta to the baby. The needle can enter the umbilical vein in the part attached to the placenta, the part in the umbilical cord, or the part in the baby's liver. If none of these areas work, or if the vein is too small, the doctor can also give blood directly into the baby's abdomen, where it is absorbed into the baby's circulation. The location of the needle placement depends on how the baby is positioned and where the placenta is attached to the uterine wall. Taking the sample. Before giving the baby any blood, fetal blood sampling measures the baby's hemoglobin to determine if the baby is anemic. Guided by ultrasound, a needle enters the umbilical vein and draws a small amount of the baby's blood. While the results are calculated, the doctor gives the baby medicine to temporarily slow their movement. A small machine measures the blood sample's hemoglobin level and delivers its result in less than a minute. The result tells the team if a blood transfusion is needed and how much blood they need to give. Transfusing the blood. If the blood sample confirms the baby has anemia, the team performs an intrauterine transfusion to give blood to the baby. Without removing the needle from the umbilical vein, specially prepared blood is given. The team checks the baby's blood level again, and if it is okay, the needle is removed. The patient and their baby stay at the hospital for a couple hours for monitoring, and once their care team clears them, they're good to go until their next appointment. Summary Fetal blood sampling diagnoses fetal anemia, and intrauterine transfusion, or IUT, treats it. A sonographer, doctors, nurses, and the patient support person make up the care team. The preferred place to give or take blood is through the umbilical vein, connecting the baby to the placenta. Based on the reason for fetal anemia, and gestational age at the first IUT, the procedure may need to be repeated during the pregnancy. We understand that this procedure can be overwhelming, but your team is here to ensure the safety and comfort of both you and your baby every step of the way.